thanks for joining us in Geneva for WISIS Forum 2019. I'm joined by Kilinoy Garcia. She's a student here in Geneva at Webster University, mm -hmm. and you were one of the hackathon participants. Yeah. So uh, tell us about your, your project. Um, so when I was applying for the hackathon, um, the main question that it asked was, in what ways do you think you we should make um, education inclusive for people? And of course, that's a very broad question. Absolutely, there's yeah. so many answers you can give. And but the first thing that came to my mind was, um, who are the main people that are excluded in um, education specifically? And I thought about um, people with mental disabilities um, because for them it doesn't always matter on their um, socioeconomic status, it just matters on this very solvable problem that they have. Um, and one of the main issues they have is just a lack of willingness to even talk about it. Mm. So it's very fixable. So like of course, some, are, some disabilities are harder to um, deal with than others, but they are fixable at, or at least manageable but they don't have the, they're not encouraged to come forward mm. because they're stigmatized, so I wanted to focus on that. Okay, so how do you help them with your solution concretely? Give us uh, an example of how it works. Um, so I'm being part of Webster Humanitarian Association. We, we are a student-run NGO, so we, we're small, but we do make um, a big impact we do a lot of fundraisers for um, humanitarian charities. So I thought if we can make all these big and yet small differences um, as a small NGO, then surely there can be another NGO at Webster University for mental disabilities. So I was actually thinking about this one NGO that I tried to do an internship for. Um, it's called um, Ask all special kids and I think it has great potential to be very helpful for um, students with mental disabilities but one of the things I noticed is that it lacks um, good structure uh, communication and even funds which I feel like the structure and communication stems from the lack of funds so I focus after getting um, many piece, pieces of advice from other people during the hackathon, I decided to focus my project on a sound relationship between NGOs and um, schools and universities because I feel like that relationship can be very beneficial for each other, like um, a self-sustaining relationship, but that can also branch out to um, like such as re researchers and they can provide the incentive for the researchers, and the researchers can provide the knowledge for them, so it's a self-sustaining machine. And from there, my vision was to get as many NGOs involved with schools as possible, that in some way or another, they can convince the government, m maybe through like program evaluations, but convince the government to give them subsidies, so that way it's easier for them to continue. Okay, so your project was mostly about raising awareness and, uh, and helping NGOs communicate better and run yeah. more efficiently, basically. Yeah. So it wasn't, it was like the other groups, they had like apps that they were making, but um, I don't know how to do that. So I just did a more international relations approach where it's just you do research. And my goal was to, or at least my vision was to do research on the benefits of integrating these students in the education system and how that can have ripple effects in the labor force. Yeah. And so how that can help the community and hopefully that will be their incentive to really have this relationship because the NGO can provide the university or the school, the programs for these students and the schools can provide the information on these disabilities and advice for how to run these programs. So, you know, it they help each other. Kilino and Garcia, thank you very much for joining mm -hmm. us today and all the best for your studies and your future projects. Thank you. I'm excited too. <laughs>